Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to see about the get metadata activity in Azure Data Factory. Okay. So what is the importance of this? Okay. So to know the metadata information, suppose you have a folder. Okay. In this, this is your input folder in a your Azure storage account. Okay. Suppose you have a multiple files. Okay. Now if you want to get the metadata information, like what are the files which is available into this particular folder, right? And based on the based on that, you actually you want to apply some kind of the condition. So in that kind of the scenario, we generally use the get metadata activity to know, know the metadata information. Okay. So we have a multiple things. So we have a child item, last modify, created, size, item type, item name. These are the option which is available. When we'll do a practical, we'll get to know more about it. Okay. So suppose uh, this is this particular folder we have. Okay. Now if I want to know what are the file which is available here, so I can use a child item. It will list all the subfolders and the file in the given folder. Okay. Similarly, if you want to know about the name of the file or the folder, you can use an item name, item type. If you want to know, you can use that. When was actually it was last modified? That all the kind of the information you can get it from the get metadata activity. Okay. Let me open my Azure Data Factory and let me try to explain you more. Okay. So let me create a new pipeline. I'll search for the get metadata here. I'll just drag it. Okay. I'll go to the setting. In setting, we have to create a data set. Uh, my folder. Okay. I'll create Azure Blob Storage. I will select the CSV file. Okay. I'll create a link service. Okay. I'll select the subscription storage account. This already we have seen. Click on the create. Okay, let me show you my storage account. So this is my input storage. This is my storage account. I have an input container and I have a multiple file which is available in this particular folder. Okay, now how actually with the help of the pipeline we will get to know what are the file which is available there. Okay, so what actually I will do? I will try to select the file path. This input folder only. I am not going to select any file. Okay, as of now I am just selecting the container folder, input folder no file name and all okay i'll just click on the okay okay now in get metadata activity we have option like the field list okay so suppose if i will select the child items okay i have selected the child items now if i will try to debug so we'll get output okay we'll get output what are the files which is there it will list all the files okay now the status is in queue once it will get uh, output, we'll get more info about it. Okay. Now it is succeed. Now if I click on the output, you can get, you can see we have a child items. I under under this child item we have imply one dot csv, imply one one dot csv. This all the files which is available into this input location it listed out. Okay like you can see employee 3 employee 2 employee 1 this all the file actually it listed under the name so we are getting a json file and based on that actually we can put some condition and we can run the later pipeline okay so it is listing all the files okay under this okay now if i'll click here if i'll now let's see if i will select the item name okay and now if we'll, i will try to debug it okay let's see what is the output we are getting okay the child item is for the it will list all the subfolders into the particular folders okay as of now under this folder i have all the files that's why it listed all the files but if you have folder that also you can list it let's see what will be the output we'll get we have selected the item name you can say you see item name it listed the what is your input folder name that is a input right that is our input folder name similarly we have a multiple option if you want to see when actually it was the last modify and all that also you can use under this argument like item type whether the file is exist whether the input file uh, whether it exists or not this all the option we can use with the help of the get metadata okay i hope you got it thank you